So this is a uh, two-axis gimbal drone. It's a Simrex uh, X20, as I said earlier. It's got a two-axis gimbal right here. You can see it moving. Uh, it, it does the pitch. It does the roll. No yaw. Uh, the battery releases pretty quickly. Easy like that. Charging ports on the side. It does the SD card right here. And it has brushless motors. Uh, it's a Wi-Fi drone. Uh, and we're going to get this thing started. Come on, Sam. Come on, Yeah. That's the needle with a little shower of water. <laughs> 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 Here's a controller. It's a nice little controller, actually. I don't mind it. Um, let me go ahead and get the controller all set up, and then we'll get going on the air. So the controller is pretty straightforward, guys. The handles get pulled out like so. Antennas get pulled out. they kind of nice, firm feel to them. We've got a phone um, pull-out section. And, man, it's cold out here today. Didn't bring my gloves. So I'm going to be cold, guys. So I'm going to put my phone into it right now. And, uh, yeah. So my good camera... My Canon M50 battery just died. I thought I'd just put a brand new battery in it, but apparently not. So, oh well. Okay, so pretty straightforward it looks like. Uh, we're going to turn this on. And giving me the two light blinking. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the drone next. Yeah, so I just turned this on, and this is what it looked like when it's blinking. And then I am going to go ahead and uh, start the app. And uh, this is what the app looks like, guys. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. And uh, I'm going to start the aircraft also. And i show you what the sequence are. I'm going to hold down the button. And then I'm going to start the recording here on my phone. So I found the aircraft and it shows it right there as a Simrex X20. And I'm going to connect to it. Okay, so it looks like it connected. So now I'm going to get to the app. So the app is telling me I need to calibrate right now. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is calibrate this guy. And uh, the calibration procedure is straightforward. You spin it around. And as soon as the instructions said the lights go green. Haven't seen it go green yet. I might not have it in GPS mode. There, the lights went green, and then it says put the camera up and spin it. And the lights will blink green when, there it is, blink green when the calibration's on. 
Okay. All right, so I am just gonna go ahead and do a couple more things. Tell it to calibrate the accelerometer. Okay, everything's looking good, guys. Um, when I turn, you bring your sticks all the way down to this corners. It will calibrate your accelerometer and I already did what they call the magnet magnetometer calibration is actually your uh, compass calibration so everything's looking pretty good so far um, let me turn on my GoPro make sure everything's working there and we'll take this guy for a flight okay I'm back All right, so it's got me. Everything looks good. Start the recording. Everything's working fine so far. GPS signal allow fly is 53% battery. So to start it, you could do this auto launch right here. And it should launch to two meters high, it said. Seems to be real stable. I'm gonna do a quick walk around. It sounds real good guys. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but pretty solid. It sounds good. All right, let's go ahead and see if it can return home. It's, my battery says 25%. Oh wow. Not sure what happened. Low battery, it said. All right, I'm gonna back it up and then hit the return button, home button. Here we go. Return to home. Alright, so that's, now it says it's a 40% battery, so it's a little strange. Let's, uh, let's do another takeoff, so here we go. Thirty-three percent battery. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, bump up the speed real quick. One, two, and fly as fast as I can. It drops in altitude, guys. I'm going to bring it back as fast as I can. Drop in altitude. Let go stick. Pretty good. It does pretty well, guys. I'm going to do another return to test, re return home test. Let's see, picture the camera. Wow, that's fast. All right. 
It flies pretty fast. I'm not sure the camera's that good. All right, I'm gonna hit the return home. Couldn't that, okay. Press again, okay, press again. Here it comes. It's actually not a bad flying drone. The camera is not looking so good on my display. It looks a little washed out, soft. But, you know, it's a $200 drone. This is 23% battery. And this is the second return home. So, it pretty, did pretty well. Surprise. Okay. Here we go again, another flight. So the battery is strange, it says it's 30% now. Um, I don't know. It loses altitude when flying. This is 24% battery. It's not a bad flyer at all. Just doing a circle me mode now. The props are in the picture. The props are showing up in the picture. Here we go. See what happens when you hit home, return home. Oh wow. So it does a pretty good job, guys, returning home. Okay, uh, let's get it up in the air and take a couple of pictures. It's not a very good day for pictures. Signal snap, camera settings, delay. All right, 24% battery.
Not bad at all. Not a bad flyer at all. You can see it right here over my shoulder, guys. Not a bad flyer at all. You see it? Watch. So this is the the low battery indicator right there guys and it should be pretty easy to catch yeah so this is the Simrex X20 I'm gonna to have to come back and do the second half of the review I think the rain is coming and I'm freezing so I'm gonna go back and uh, do the rest of the testing a little later all right cold out here guys cold yeah came in just in time let me spin it around to show you something see on the windshield there's some raindrops right there All right, so I want to just uh, share my final conclusions here on the first impressions of this uh, X20 drone. It's actually not a bad flyer, guys. Feels a little plasticky. It's two hundred dollars. It's two axis gimbal, four K camera. Uh, it's supposed to fly for thirty minutes. Um, it did pretty well. It's got brushless motors. It does like. You know, it flies like like the Xeno did, but better stabilization, um, as you'll see in the video, as, uh, as actually as we saw in the video. Uh, yeah, it's cold out here, and um, the flight time was probably affected greatly by um, by this weather, this temperature. So we're sitting at 32 degrees here in Richmond, Virginia. We're expecting a front to be, the front's actually here. Let me spin around so you guys can see. One more time. There we go. Yeah, you can see that uh, I already have raindrops on the windshield. Uh, so I came in at the right time. And, uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Sure did. I can't wait to get back and warmed up and get some hot food in there. Uh, so there it is. The X20 did a pretty decent job. Um, I hope the video came out well. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, it's uh, not a bad flyer. So yeah. Can't wait to see the video. See what it looks like. Pretty, pretty decent video. Hopefully, not sure it's a true 4K camera, guys, but you never know. Go put it on the computer and take a look at it. All right. <laughs>